if you think about it, break it down. If you guys are lucky, you're going to have 10 years as a professional bike rider. That's 10 chances to win this race. This is one of those 10. You can't get them back. You've got a finite number of years in your career that you can do this. This is one of your 10 chances. And this really is the scene set, the hors d'oeuvres of what is going to be a grand finale. It's all moving very sweetly now. They're all consistently taking their place at the front, tapping out the rhythm, keeping the workload high. You can see the uh, climb as it winds its way up, it goes through that gullet at the top, and then it's going to be a real high-quality tempo descent. Good racing roads, these. Glorious shot that is. Sensational countryside here. The crowd sensational. They've absolutely flooded to the roadside. And of course, he's saying from infinity and beyond, and I'm just wondering if some of the riders are going to do that today. They've got firepower in the legs here. Look he's really going for this lovely, smooth style. He's coming up to the line to get another six points. He really does want this to go to King of the Mountains. Yep, this man's got a massive future. He is a crowd pleaser extraordinary. This is going to be a tremendous feat. Here he comes up to the line. Mark Cavendish wins stage four in Flat Paris. Oh, and there was nearly a crash behind. Chilling on the line. Chilling takes it. Third yesterday, first today. Cavendish digs deep and gets to the line again. Off in the army. And the wind is coming. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! You know, I would made no secret that I was, you know, really wanted to do well in this race, so I had to win today, whatever. I thought I'd rather end up in hospital today than be beaten. It's just 100% commitment. My motivation, the thing that kept me going was, you know, this Tour of Britain and, and winning this time trial on home soil, and it was just a fantastic day. What a fantastic ride! Stellar performance here then by Bradley Wiggins! Crowds out in their thousands again to support the tour and loving every minute of it. Oh, oh, look at the face on Martin. It looks like we've got our usual spectators out. Look at the crowd through the corridor of faces here as they try to keep the bikes moving to get to the summit. What a sight to behold on British roads, two of the greatest bike riders in the world. Looks as though he's going to take it. The young rider on the Great Britain team, Simon Yates, coming up to the line. What a ride. Yates takes the stage here at the summit of Haytor. Here comes Mark Cavendish. Oh, Cavendish takes it. Breathtaking stuff. Bradley Wiggins, the man winning the IG Gold jersey. And it was well worth waiting for.